look inside some of the papers as well. Uh, and while we talk about who's going to be our next prime minister, uh, the Times have tracked down our current prime minister uh, to a beach in Greece where he's having a holiday. Somewhat controversially, it has to be said. There we go. Sorry if you're having your breakfast at the moment. Uh, there is uh, Boris Johnson in his swimming trunks having a stretch or maybe he's about to dive in the sea. I don't know. But, uh, he looks like he's having a jolly old time. He does, doesn't he? And there's some speculation there about what he's going to do over his final couple of weeks in office. Uh, they're saying that he might uh, live out of checkers uh, because I think they've already started sending in the removal vans, haven't they? His yeah. stuff's already started leaving Downing Street. Yeah, so. pictures of the vans were there the last couple of days, weren't they? But whose stuff is going to be moving in next? Yeah, we'll find good, out. There's a good question. We still don't know. Um, here's a great picture. I hope you can see this. This is taken with a selfie stick. Um, climbers at the very, very top of Blackpool Tower wow. waiting for the moment when the red arrows fly overhead. Isn't that great? It takes a lot of planning, a lot of work, Rescue specialist Ross Edwards took the perfect shot of the RF display team, helped by his pals Jack Perry and Chris Fricker. I see. So you can only just see yeah. them. There are the, the red arrows at the top sticking out like at the top of the flagpole. What Brilliant. a moment. And this is a story. We talked last week about the challenges lots of people are having at the moment, about registering with a dentist, mm. finding an NHS dentist. Uh, Nigel Walsh, uh, who's 62, has not had this concern until very recently because despite being in his 60s, Michael's never been to a dentist. What, never? Never, until no. this week. No. Uh, which The Sun says this morning must be gum side kind of a record. Oh. Um, he's finally gone to the dentist because he's got a problematic molar, but he says he doesn't eat sweets, he okay. doesn't eat rubbish, and he brushes his teeth five times a day. And that's kept the dentist away. It's worked for him. He's a lucky man. Nice, nice smile as well, Nigel. Good man. He's done very well.